Hello and welcome to The Running Diaries. This is series one, episode one. And I thought I'd get to give you a quick introduction into what the series is all about and what The Running Diaries are all about. My name's Darren Smith, um, aka Trailing the Pack, and I am a passionate trail and fell runner. I live in North Yorkshire, specifically near the North York Moors. I get up to some beautiful scenery and I get to go on some great trail runs. So I thought it'd be great if I could vlog and take you guys with me. As for the series, series one is going to evolve around the Esk Valley Fell series, which is a set of fell races in winter on the North York Moors. It runs from October through to March or April time, and there's roughly 11 races in the series. Your best six results go towards the leaderboard. It's quite competitive, it's on my local stomping ground, great for wrecking the routes, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to it this year. Um, in terms of episode one, I'm actually in La Palma on Monday through till Thursday, very late, and uh, then I've got Parkrun on Saturday. We're going to jump straight into episode one just in a second. Uh, before I do, if this does sound of interest, please subscribe. Uh, there's a button below the video and uh, click the bell as well, because that will notify you when new videos comes out. And I won't want you missing out if you are interested. If you're not, no worries. Let's go straight to Monday. Good morning, day one of the week, Monday, and today I'm doing some hill reps. This is a bit of a killer session to be honest, uh, going up and down some pretty steep climbs eight times, uh, the recovery is shorter than each rep, uh, it's probably about half an hour's worth of climbing. No prattling about, I want to get this one done right so I'll see you at the end of it. That was awful. Thanks for that, Jase. Very kind. Very necessary, though. The great thing with doing it here in Juan Caliente, going on the volcano route, is the ash. It makes it that much harder. It's like running through a pit, pit of sand. If you imagine doing hill reps on a sand dune. Pretty awful. And it lulls you into a false sense of security because you end up onto a rocky area and then all of a sudden, bang, you're back onto the sand again. So I'm knackered. And to be honest, I wasn't even going that fast, purely because of how difficult going it was and how steep. But it'll all come back hopefully in a few weeks time for my first race. And I think next, tomorrow, um, I've got an easier day. I've got 30 minute easy run and a bit of strength work. So that should give me muscles time to recover. After this, I'm gonna grab a shake when I get back to the hotel and uh, do some stretching and probably get the complex on me again maybe on massage mode on the legs and uh, on my plantar on my left foot because that's been playing up a little bit too so there you go that's uh, a hill session for you in La Palma great fun and I'll see you tomorrow morning and welcome back to La Palma I'm currently on my 30 minute easy run after yesterday's hill session. The legs in themselves, the calves, feet, all feeling good. Um, good may be an exaggeration. Legs are a tiny bit tired, but considering what the session was and what I did on Saturday, uh, very good really. My only little conundrum is what I do tomorrow because I've got an hour to an hour and 20 minute run, easy. And my two options are, I either go back up there and get on the trails again, which is what I came here for in the first place, or I stick just with an hour run on this sort of terrain, getting run over by cars. I know which one I'd rather do, <laughs> but I've got park run on Saturday to think about. And last night, my knee was feeling a little bit tender. It is a real mental injury because you're constantly questioning yourself whether you're feeling a pain or it's a, if it's like a healing sensation, maybe just a tiny bit of swelling coming back in there 
all these questions going through your head all the time and uh, it's hard to deal with that and rationalize it all so i will see you tomorrow either up there or down here we'll soon find out good morning welcome back to la palma yesterday we left off with me contemplating what i was going to do today whether i was going to run on the roads down near the hotel or get up high and get up on the trails well as you can see i decided to go high legs are a little bit tired the knee i'm happy to report feels great uh, and to be fair i feel good in general i'm just going to take it nice and easy today especially on the ups and obviously on the downs um, i want to make sure my legs aren't trashed for when i get back because we do our park run on saturday and um, it'd be a shame to go wrecking me chances of a decent time just for one run but i couldn't resist coming up on the trails so i'm just going to try and be careful what i'm doing so yeah a little bit sad this is my last full day in la palma after this we're flying home and uh, not only that but my trusty old scots which i've had for a while now are going to be retired after this run so just take about there we go you can see <laughs> uh, so yeah they're not gonna last i think we'll leave them behind rather than carry them in the luggage anyway like i said feeling quite good tomorrow's a rest day with it being a travel day friday's a short run and then park run on saturday good morning uh, it's park run saturday and i'm just getting prepared um about to have my breakfast i need to do my exercises do some stretching cup of tea uh, and just get my stuff together i've got a couple of hours so i better get moving uh, we'll have a chat in just a minute about what the day is going to be about and what the whole point of this park run is um and yeah i better get moving or i'm gonna be late so i'll talk to you in a minute Okay guys, just finished my breakfast. I'm gonna go stretch and do some exercises. But before I do, I just wanted to talk to you about the day. So park run is all about speed. Uh, got the Winterfell series coming up in only a couple of weeks now, so not long. And uh, it's this is the last test of where I'm at with the training and all my speed work. I've not actually done that much in fairness. It's been more a case of building up the uh, sessions and the distance that I'm doing. Now, today is going to be a little bit different from the usual approach. Usually I would take a watch, I'd film it, and um, yeah, that would then lead to a little bit of pressure on myself. Um, I tend to run my best when I have no pressure on, and when I just accept that whatever time I get is the time I'm going to get. So today, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make it so I can go there, just run park, run, enjoy it, not feel any pressure on myself at all, not overthink it not go out too fast at the start because i'm worried about getting a sub 18 minute park run so yeah anyway we'll see how it goes i'll stop blabbering on uh, i better get ready because i've not got long left um and i'll see you guys when i get back hopefully i'll be able to find out what my time is since i'm not actually timing it just finished park run and all i can say is it's a good job that i decided to video after the cool down and a few stretches because that didn't go well um i wasn't right at all i did well i didn't time it on my watch i didn't have anything to go off so i asked uh, a gentleman at the end who was timekeeping one of the volunteers um and he reckoned i got 18 16 which on normal days that's for me not a good time where i'm at now um based on the fact i did 18 10 before my holiday um, and 1802 is my best that I've done um, but I've got to be realistic as well um, I've just come back off holiday and something I haven't mentioned till now is I've had some stomach issues I was hoping they were going to get settled down and it was just down to diet but in reality I think actually there's something else going on there uh, the last three or four days <clears throat> I've just not been digesting food properly we'll leave it at that um, I could feel it on the start line as well and then when we started off um, the chap from I think from Kirkstall Harriers really fast runner 
he darted off in front um it was quite a bit between me and the next guy so i was pretty much doing a training run on my own which never helps but from the second we started my legs just felt like jelly straight away and i instantly thought nah this doesn't this isn't right this isn't right at all and at the end of the day we're doing all this for the bigger picture uh we're doing it for the fell series that's that's what all my training is for at the moment it's a long series goes on till march april time starts in the next couple of weeks so yeah of course i want to go into the first race do well and actually start from the front straight away but in reality i've come back from injury i'm only three or four months into my training for the fell series I think I just need to be more patient. Um, I've been patient enough with my knee and at least now I can actually train properly and I should be grateful for that. I can actually go out and I can do these sessions. I can do park run. I feel fine now. My stomach doesn't, um, but my legs do and everything else feels great. So I need to be grateful for that as well and accept that I am where I am right now and things are gonna get better. I am gonna get better. I'm gonna get faster. So in a nutshell, a little bit gutted uh but also realistic thanks for watching the series guys uh subscribe click the alert button so you don't miss out um the little bell next to it and uh yeah i hope you keep joining me for the journey